Starting tomorrow, it's the start of a new era for space exploration. Tomorrow, NASA, in collaboration with SpaceX, will launch what is known as Crew-1. This will be the first fully crewed and operational commercial mission to the International Space Station. The launch was due to happen today, but has now been delayed by a day over concerns about high winds and weather conditions. Joining us this morning to talk about the historic launch is astronaut Nicole Mann from the Kennedy Space Center. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So this four-person crew is going to be up at the space station for six months. Is that a fairly standard duration for a mission? Yes, six months is a standard duration, and they'll be extremely busy while they're up there. Of course, we've had people stay longer, almost up to one year, but they'll be doing maintenance on the space station, spacewalks, and they'll see a lot of uh, visiting vehicles and other spacecraft that'll visit them during their time on the International Space Station. Gotcha. Well, you began to answer my next question. I know that every mission is unique, but what will they actually be doing uh, once they arrive at the, at the space station? There's some pretty exciting science that will be on board during their increment. Uh, they'll be growing radishes. We've grown things in space before, but radishes will be new. They'll also be testing some pharmaceuticals that are designed to help treat leukemia. There's some upgrades to the International Space Station, so we'll see uh, two, three, maybe four spacewalks while they're up there. Also, we'll see three cosmonauts join the crew on a Soyuz spacecraft. And you'll also see the uncrewed docking of Starliner, which is the uh, flight test of the Boeing spacecraft. And what preparations do the astronauts go through as they're getting ready for a launch like this one? Well, they are pretty busy. Um, they rehearse everything. So simulators and mission dress rehearsals. So just yesterday, they went through what we call a dry run. They got in their suits, did all their leak pressure checks, walked all the way out to the pad, just like they would do on launch day just like they'll do tomorrow. And now that they're complete with all their preparation, they'll just last minute review their procedures, get updates on weather and any changes to their launch. All right, Nicole Mann, thank you so much for joining us.